Hi, this is Derek Wright from Houghton Horns coming to you from TMEA 2020. And I have Peter Pickett of Pickett Mouthpieces here. Hi, how are you doing? Doing pretty well. Nice yeah, and, and noisy. Yes, it is. Yeah, Pickett has been, we've been working with Pickett for a little while now. Uh, I just want to tell uh, him to tell you a little bit about his business and the things he's been doing, especially because I know he's not as known with French horn players, but he's very well known with trumpet players and other brass players. So tell me a little bit about your business. Sure thing. So we're made up of a bunch of trumpet players and trombone players, and so that's why we're not as well known in the French horn side of things. But we've been really blessed to be involved with folks like you and other professional players in the area so that we can develop our brand into the French horn mouthpiece side of things. So we were started by making trim kits for trumpets, so buttons and little parts that people could bling their horn out with, which was kind of fun, but it's nothing like making mouthpieces that people actually use to make their music. Right. So how did you get started making mouthpieces? I know that it's, you're passionate about it. Yes. No, so number one, we like making things. And so as a trumpet player, we obviously connected with a bunch of trumpet players, including Vince DiMartino, who lived near us. And so Vince would show up with a box of donuts and say, hey, let's go make some mouthpieces. This will be really cool. And so we made, we probably spent probably about one to two years just doing that with him. And so prototyping and making different things for him and letting him play, listening. And that eventually turned into the trumpet mouthpiece line that we have here. Then naturally, of course, that spread because Vince knows everybody. And we all know that this entire business is based on word of mouth. That's how you grow. And so Vince knows everybody and, and talks to everybody. And that's, that's how it got started. That's great. I actually got to meet Vince a couple of years ago when his brass quintet did a recital at TCU. Like He's a wonderful person. Yes, and he continues to be, and he loves teaching. So he retired from Center College a number of years ago, but you would never know it as much as he travels and continues to play. Yeah, so do, do you have any, what are your plans for the future? Just continuing to develop <laughs> yes. more mouthpieces? Yeah, so yeah, we're certainly growing, which is why we come to TMEA, so that we can show new trumpets. So the Blackburn trumpets have been, I guess, with us for four years now, and that's been very exciting. That's been very difficult, but it's also very rewarding to make instruments that people actually play and, and they love. So that's been probably the most exciting part of our business growth. Well, thank you very much for your time. We've, uh, we've at uh, Houghton Horns have loved working with you. And like I know myself and Mark have made multiple visits Indeed, down yeah. to, to work on different designs. Yeah, you've been very generous with your time and very generous with your expertise. Yeah. And we've been so impressed just by the craftsmanship that's happening uh, there. Very good. Well, I appreciate that. It's a pleasure to work with you all. It's what we do. So musicians to musicians. Thank you. All right.